Good morning. Let's take Mr. Nice Guy to sit upon like a funny wedge just behind you. And then from here, I just want you to move the right shoulder back and look over your right shoulder. So even less than a twist. So just see if you can move the shoulder straight back and look that way. And just notice what you feel in your neck and your shoulder. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Just move the shoulder straight back, look over your shoulder and notice, does it feel restricted somewhere? Does it feel less restricted other places? What's happening in the landscape of the back when you do that? And then we'll go all the way across now. Take an easy twist, put one hand behind you as you look across and over the shoulder. And as you breathe here, notice what's going on in the shoulders and your neck, in your back, all the way down to the hips. And then the other side too. And as you come back through center, move the ball out of the way. Sit up nice and tall. Notice the lift of your chest and place your hands there. Bring your awareness to the back of the ribs. And take a moment to set your intention for your practice. Briskly rub the palms to generate heat. Cup the hands over the eyes as you inhale the warmth. Release the hands, open the eyes. Please join me in a downward facing dog. So this one we're gonna be doing shoulders, but of course we're tying it all back to the hamstrings, remember? So I want you to first rock forward to your hands. So like you're almost in a high plank, but not. So you're less inverted, you're less in that inverted V shape, right? More of like kind of a U shape, really. And then I want you to notice that how the restriction of the shoulders or the lack of mobility there prevents you from lengthening in the hamstrings, right? And then if you start to stretch, do this with me nice and slow, stretch nice and slow back into your downward facing dog, your regular one. And notice that with the extension of your arms, you're able to leverage back into the heels. So this doesn't come as any surprise, right? And we pretty much already knew that, yeah? So that sometimes our shoulders are actually limiting us from getting deeper into the hamstrings, from getting the whole stretch that we need. So let's come on down and see if we can do something about that. So we'll have this small, uh, small white ball, back of the shoulder and front of the shoulder. We're gonna be working the two sides of the coin. And I want you to remember, of course, that you can always pad this with uh, like a tea towel or something like that. So I'll start on my right side so that you can see. So I'm gonna put the ball, I'm gonna lay it down, I'm gonna put the ball on the back of my shoulder. So it's pretty much right in the center of my right shoulder blade. And I'm gonna come on down, knees bent, feet on the floor. So stuff that guy right in the center of your shoulder blade, and then we'll put the right arm into a 90 degree angle. Okay, so first we're gonna do this one where elbow is at a 90 degree angle and palm is facing up. So you've made like a half, uh, like a goal, show, a goal post shape. And then we're gonna rotate the upper arm bone and the shoulder so that the palm will face down. So now we're like a scarecrow arm, right? And then inhale it back up. Keep going with that for the moment so the upper arm bone stays heavy to the floor and you're just rotating the whole of the shoulder to do this movement, right? So you're not moving from the lower arm. You're trying to move from the upper arm. Okay, so let's find a slightly different spot, maybe side to side, up or down, and then do it again from here. All right. You should definitely feel this, but it should not be so intense that it makes you wince and it makes your nervous system try to pull away. So remember, we're the whole time here trying to work with our nervous system instead of against it. So it is not something to push through. It is not something to ignore. It's something to pay really close attention to because that's how you're gonna make a shift, a change in your physiology. Okay, now when we get to this third spot on the back of that shoulder, we're gonna do a different movement with the arm. So we're gonna keep the arm so that it's heavy to the floor and then we're just gonna draw that whole arm, so keeping that shape, 
down as if the right elbow could squeeze toward your right hip and then shoot the whole thing back up as if the elbow could reach up to the ceiling or not to the ceiling, up and alongside the ear. Yeah, do it again, keep going. So pull it down as far as it will go. Make sure you're going slow. And let's get into the breath now. So let's do our exhale to draw in, 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 and our inhale will lift the elbow up. Okay, let's keep going here. Exhale to draw in. Inhale to lengthen out. One more time. Now we're gonna put this whole arm, keeping the shape, put the whole entire arm up and over to the left. So your fingertips now are gonna reach over to the left and then draw the elbow right back down. Okay, so you're gonna cross your chest, you're actually lifting the arm for the first time up and off the ground. So you're crossing, good. And then back over, just one more time. Take it all the way across. Back over, now stretch the right arm up elongate the right side. You can even straighten the right leg. Think about that openness coming from the entire side body now. And then just pull the ball out of the way for a moment. Lay completely flat, hang out, do nothing. Notice the difference in that shoulder. And now we'll take that same ball, same side, but we're gonna be on the top. So opposite side of the coin, you're gonna be rolling your pec. So when you're on the right chest, and I want you to use your left hand to roll. So we're gonna cover surface area from the front of the shoulder, below the collarbone, to the center of the chest, and then all the way back around. We're making little circles as we go. And then once you find a spot that you like, as you circle there, you can give just a teeny bit more pressure, but again, you know the right zone to be in. Finding breath the whole while. And when you found a spot that you really like, go ahead and hold there. Breathe into the ball. Take that ball out of the way. And again, just pause for a moment. This time I'll have you sweep both arms up and alongside the ears. Stretching the arms straight, the legs straight. Notice the difference in the right side versus the left side. Notice the ability to extend that arm longer. And then we'll go ahead and roll over to the side. Press back into your down dog. And then see if you can notice the difference, that whole chain on the right side. Can you even leverage back into the hamstrings easier? So we're getting this greater range of motion so that you can find the strength of the shoulder, right? We're not just loosening it up. We're loosening it up so that we can get stronger. And then glide forward high plank. How does it feel on the right side versus the left side? Come down to the floor. Just open up into a cobra pose, nice and slow. Stretch the front of the chest and squeeze the shoulders back. Make your way back to hands and knees. Let's go right to the other side. Small white ball, back of the left shoulder. Come down to your back. Okay. Find a spot you like. Starting in that goalpost shape, palm faces the ceiling. And then when you rotate the arm bone down, palm plants toward the ground. That movement should be happening from the upper arm, from the shoulder itself. And then go ahead and find a slightly different spot, different area that needs some attention. Come 
completing the inhale, completing the exhale, trying not to shortchange yourself with the breath. Okay, one more spot on this side. And then here we're gonna do that slightly different movement. So you're gonna draw the elbow in so the arm still stays heavy to the floor and you're just gonna drag that elbow in as if it's gonna tap your side. Get it as close as you can and then bring it back up. Keep going with that. The exhale draws the elbow in. It takes longer to resolve. And then the inhale shoots the elbow up. One more time. Let's keep that 90 degree angle with the arm, but this time, of course, you're gonna lift the whole unit of the arm up and across your chest. Reach it as if it could tap the floor to the right. And then draw it right back down, tap the elbow, and then go across again. The exhale takes you across. The inhale, tap the elbow down. And then let's go ahead and straight that whole left arm up and alongside the ear. Extend the left leg too. Get really long through that side. Think about stretching from the heel to the palm of the hand. And then just release, take the ball out of the way. Settle for a moment. Notice the difference, shoulders. And then have that ball in the right hand because you're going to roll the left front chest, so the left pec. The upper part of the pec, the lower part of the pecs. So there's multiple muscles to get in here. So just take your time with it. A little moment of rolling around to explore your spots. Find something you like, stay in it, breathe into the ball. See how you can notice that you're affecting multiple layers here. Not just your skin, not just your connective tissue, not just your muscle, not just your nerves, <laughs> all of it. And of course there's the most strongest connection that all of those have is the nervous system. So that's your breath, the pacing and quality of your breath. And then take that ball out of the way. Pause for a moment. Again, just feel into that. And then before we come up, we're gonna take a bridge pose. So grab the side edges of the mat, pull as if you're gonna pull the yoga mat apart and get the shoulder blades to squeeze together. Lift the hips up. So arms are straight, because I want you to draw the energy down all the way into your hands and then back up through the hands. Squeeze the shoulders, broaden the chest, elongate the neck. And then come on down, let's roll to the side. Stretch it out in your downward facing dog. Notice the difference, is the neck able to release its tension now? Stay strong in the shoulders and the upper back. And imagine that connection, in fact, feel your hands pressing the ground, feel your feet pressing the ground. Get longer. Glide forward to your high plank position. Hold here, press down. The whole unit of the shoulders, front side back, pressing the ground. Come down to the floor. We'll take a deep breath to stretch the chest. Shoulders go back. Meet me in puppy pose. Stretch the arms. 
One deep breath here. Get really long in the upper back. And then come up slowly. Meet me in a seated position. And as you sit up tall, just take one shoulder back and your neck back, just like we started. How does it feel different? And let's do the other side too. And then as you come through center, think about the lift coming right from the center of your chest, shoulders heavy. Take your hands to your heart. Send your body a message of gratitude and bow to the beauty and divinity within you. Namaste.